gubernatorial candidates. Wait, 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 and wait. the question is, yes? No, no. Oh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, the question is, do you believe that the present system for the collection of severance taxes from Wyoming's extractive industries is both fair and effective? Why or why not? We'll begin with Rita Meyer. Well, when it comes to do with uh, taxes and when it comes to do with a revenue stream, which those taxes are to the state of Wyoming, uh, people just never agree. Uh, I think the system is, is pretty fair. Uh, what the, usually the question is, are we taxing the energy resources enough, more so than just is the system, if you will, fair in terms of the collection itself. Uh, and this is what I've, I've said often on the road about that, is that some people are, are strong proponents of taxing the extractive energy uh, industry more. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the same technologies that have been uh, used now to pull gas out of tight sand formations up in, the, uh, un, up in the Jonah field, and other technologies are now being exported to other states. And so states like uh, uh, Pennsylvania, uh, states like Louisiana and New Mexico uh, now are finding uh, and are going to be able to harvest previous uh, reserves, underground, uh, underground deposits that they never thought were possible. And so now the energy industry has someplace else to go. And if we squeeze that, uh, that turnip too tight, uh, we, and we lose those rigs in Wyoming, and that workforce in Wyoming, uh, we could suffer in the long term. So I think you have to be very careful and thoughtful in terms of thinking the energy industry isn't paying their share. Uh, they are the big taxpayer at the table through K for K through 12 education in Wyoming. And they cause us, as individuals, frankly, to pay very little tax. Thank you. Mr. Gosson. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this is the major crux of why I ran. The severance tax is unfair. It's simply that way. My dad was in the oil business for 45 years, and the severance has not changed in more than three decades. And as we look out today here in Laramie, there's people thinking about losing their job in the city. We have infrastructure that's failing. Not because people don't want to fix it, they don't have the money. And severance is where you get the money. And so when you start talking about this, I've talked about this since I announced. In Gillette I came and I said, you know what, we need to look at severance completely different. And there was not one person who supported that idea. We need to take an approach that's progressive. And who does something different? What do we do? Does somebody do something different? And Alaska is a state much like ours. The same minerals, same tourism. And in 2007, in response to declining oil, they had a progressive severance approach. They've consequently returned much more of their money to the people. And as governor, you work for the people. And I think oftentimes that's misunderstood by people who sit running for governor. You don't work for BP, you don't work for Anadarko, you work to get the best deal for the people of Wyoming. And if your severance package can save a job, or fill a pothole, or provide infrastructure to those people in Wyoming, that is your charge, that's your duty. And so you're, I, I thank the question for whoever put this question out, because you will see a difference between myself and everybody on this, on this panel. Severance needs to be changed. And it is a fair and progressive one that Alaska has would be a nice start. Thank you for the question. I just want to say thanks uh, for the opportunity to be here tonight. Uh, the question is severance tax fair as it is in Wyoming? Uh, my answer is yes, I think it is fair. Now, I've talked to industry folks who don't think it's fair, and I've talked to people outside the industry who do not think it's fair. But because jobs in the economy is number one of the number one issues facing our state right now, we have to stay competitive. And as suggested, because of advanced technology with directional drill drilling, horizontal drilling, we are not alone. Uh, other states, Pennsylvania, North Dakota, are competing with us uh, for those mineral rights, or excuse me, for that mineral money now. And if we in Wyoming don't stay competitive with those other states, uh, we will go from X amount of taxes to much less. In other words, uh, you know, you can sell maybe one or two $50 hamburgers, 
uh, but you're going to sell a lot more and get a lot more when you're selling five or six dollar hamburgers. And so Wyoming needs to stay competitive. I think as it is now, we are competitive. We need that not only for the money that it brings to the state in terms of severance tax, but also in terms of the jobs that it creates. In terms of funding our local communities, uh, certainly that is an issue. Uh, but it's an issue that we have some of the money, discretionary money we put in reserve accounts now, that we need to get back to our counties and towns for the roads, the bridges, and the water and sewer projects. Thank you. Thank you. Is this working? It is. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. I've been a league member um, for something like 25 years, though I'm not now because it's kind of petered out in Jackson and it's so wonderful to see this kind of a crowd here tonight. As for the fairness of the severance tax, I believe over and all it is quite fair. It's different amounts on different minerals and those amounts have been uh, looked at and figured on by the legislature for a very long time and there are reasons why I don't think it really is smart for us right now to raise the severance tax. We know that coal <coughs> revenues are down about 8% last year and so far this year they're continuing at about 8% less than they have previously. We know that there's great uncertainty out there for the traditional mining of coal and the other en energy industry in Wyoming because of the world's concern about greenhouse gases. And we're going to have to be very much on the cutting edge of technology if we're going to maintain the revenue streams and the economy that we've known in Wyoming. So I think it's kind of foolish to go jumping the taxes up right now, and I'm not in favor of it. One of the things I do think we should do, and I learned this from the inimitable Sarah Gordon, who's here in the crowd, She's pointed out that we lose a good deal of money every year because we have certain exemptions. We put on exemptions for pollution controls in 1973 when it was thought that these were outrageous things to do, was to put uh, scrubbers on power plants, and we gave big exemptions to some of the companies at that time, and we've never taken them off. We really should look at the exemptions that we're giving on some of these kinds of items. I also, too, want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, and I, I, I have really had a good time running for go. It's been quite an eye-opener. But the severance tax, I think it's a good system that we have going right now, and that because if we do raise it, we are going to lose some of our industry, our natural gas industries, because I know for a fact that on the East Coast, in, that, in those areas that Rita was talking about, they have found a reserve there that would probably last 90 years or 100. And if we do go ahead and raise taxes, our severance taxes on our natural gas and oil industries, we will lose them out of the state and jobs. I think that uh, with the severance tax, we just do it the way it is. Um, we, the government needs to get out of the way a little bit more of the industries and let them and let them get you know develop a little more out there it seems like every time we have uh, sales for parcels and everything half of them are tied up in the ports for the next six to ten years and that does discourage the industries a lot so somehow we need to work with everybody mm -hmm. and to get this kind of streamlined so that we can let these industries go to work and put everybody to work in Wyoming. Thank you. Thank you.